Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chris Carver channel. All right, uh, gonna do a little update on my Tiger Barb Aquarium. As you can see, I redecorated. I brought this uh, piece of, uh, well, it's fake driftwood. I brought that back out from the garage, put that as a centerpiece now, and moved these two things over to the side. Uh, the thing about these Tiger Barbs and the African cichlids that are in there, they love to explore. They love going in the tunnels, so I thought I'd go ahead and give them a whole different scenery, make it look like they're in a whole different area. So I moved this guy over here, that one over there, put that in the middle, took the plants, put them in the middle, and they've been exploring ever since. I did that about two or three hours ago. And so another update of the guys, uh, one of my African cichlids, one of the uh, eroticas, which is the yellow with the black stripes, like that guy right there. Let's see if I can get that in there. There was two of those, if you remember. Well. I got one that is starting to change and looks like my guy with that that I used to have that had the big golf ball sized tumor on the side of him. Um, let's see, where is he at? Where are you at? He is the most dominant one in the tank now. Just like the other guy I had was the most dominant guy in the tank. And now I can't find him. Now he's the most missing guy in the tank. Okay, he'll pop out here. There he is right there. Okay, so... That guy looked like the other one, the yellow with black stripes. That's an Aratus. And as you can see, he's the most dominant one in the tank. He turned purple like my other guy that I used to have that died after a very long life. So, yeah, I got the four African cichlids in there. Um, I do have two new plecos. They're like white spotted plecos next to the two gold nugget plecos. But they are definitely hidden away inside one of these things there the whole thing inside here is hollow so they get inside here from the bottom and they go find a place and yeah then they're gone for uh, a couple months i did see two of them today when i cleaned but they disappeared rather quickly so yeah that is the updated aquarium and the guys are getting big really big feeding a lot of brine shrimp blood worms uh flake food uh I fed them only like three little pieces of ham since I got them, but I have been feeding a lot of night crawlers, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to put this night crawler in here and let you see what they do with the night crawler. Yeah, let me put this down real quick. Okay, as quick as I can, so you're not looking at the dirty aquarium on the top. Okay, and here we go. I get these night crawlers over at the gas station. They're too expensive. Now these guys had one this morning. So they're probably not gonna be all over it, like they would normally be all over it. But they, there they go. They will tear that thing to shreds and eat every piece of it. One thing about tiger barbs, they're just, there's not only just a super colorful fish, but you can feed them a lot of things. And I'll tell you what, the more, the more protein you feed them, the faster they grow. I've had tiger barbs for many, many years. Those of you who follow me on YouTube know I have tiger barb videos going way back. Love my tiger barbs. I like to spoil them. Uh, a lot of flake food, a lot of brine shrimp, a lot of blood worms, um, red worms, night crawlers, small pieces of ham that's very lean. I like to give them what they want. They're cool, they're very active. They're always a showpiece when friends come over and they're normally spread out everywhere. They do school a lot. Um, but yeah, the Africans are finding new places to hide. And yeah, I love this aquarium. Love it. But anyways, I wanted to do a short update. Uh, next time I'll feed the night crawler when they're all starving and not after they just ate a, a night crawler. But as you can see, they're, they're still going at it, and they will tear that thing to absolute pieces. And then the catfish on the bottom, which, where are they at? There's one, yeah, there's one of them right there. The catfish on the bottom will end up getting the pieces that fall, and they will devour them as well. There's another one down there. 
think that's the feather fin or the synodonis down there. But yeah, these guys are so fun to watch. Okay, that was just a uh, a little update for you. So anyways, I'm going to head out. So uh, if you haven't already, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button up here or down there. And see you next time.